Oh, hey, welcome back to Chief's Pit, Petty Brothers, and Moonshine Speed Shop. I'm Timmy. Welcome back. Today we're uh, degreeing a cam in for a uh, 400 Pontiac for a friend of mine. Uh, he had some ailments, uh, bought a car. Uh, I don't really know what year Pontiac, but obviously this is a 400. And uh, he didn't run it about 25 miles and it started eating itself from the inside out. And what happened was someone had added a new cam and put this gear drive on and had left the thrust plate out and everything was walking forward when it did that the lifters was just chopping up and eating up the and it basically it was like a trash compactor or actually a shredder just just eating it up so what turned out to be maybe a quick fix <laughs> ended up being a crank rods pistons home job uh, new cam new lifters new push rods and we're gonna to try to get him back on the road. But right now, uh, we're just gonna film a little bit and uh, I'm just gonna jot down the numbers, make sure the cam's sort of where it needs to be. Um, so, uh, I'm not gonna do a whole lot more talking. I'm just gonna start running through it. I guess I could throw in some kind of food since that's kind of what I'm known for. And right now, if you can see, uh, got a Cinco de Mayo shirt from Margaritas over at Mooresville, North Carolina. Uh, we frequent that place quite often. I kind of like the steak fajitas and I, I guess who don't. But anyway, um, I do like the shredded beef tacos better than I do the ground beef. I, don't, I, I like them both, but you could probably, uh, everybody could write in what they like better. And I do like the shredded chicken. I mean, there's some different ones going around. And I mean, a lot of people are crazy over the pork ones and they're okay. But uh, another place I like to go to for the Mexican stuff is over in High Point. And I can't think of, uh, Pancho Villas. And they are, uh, they, they have that warm burrito sauce, but uh, it's just basically salsa that they leave kind of hooked up, let it uh, reduce down, and it's really a good flavor for your chips and salsa. So anyway, all the numbers are coming out right here. I like to check the uh, center line of the cam too, so what we do here is just reset the zero and the lifter's at the highest point, and just check it at 50 before the peak of the nose. So yeah, that's, that's turning out right. And 50 after. So yeah. And then you add those two numbers, divide it, and that come out to be 106. The cam said 107, but I'm not gonna argue over one degree advance. So not for a street car. And the guy's pretty happy with it so far. Uh, I think we're way, way ahead of schedule on this thing, and uh, although it probably ain't for him because he, he wasn't planning on it being blowed up. So anyway, um, if you guys could like and subscribe, if you want to talk more about tacos or something like that, we can do that too. So thank you. Just drove a new front seal in, and I always use this Mr. Molly uh, lube grease, or whatever. You could use the oil or some kind of light grease, but this stuff here, it, it, I just seem to have really good results with it, uh, especially when you drive your balancer in. It keeps. Uh, Definitely keeps from tearing it, or it just does a nice lube job on it. I'm just gonna try to sort of mock this thing up a bit. These obviously aren't the bolts we're gonna use, but uh, just gonna mock things up, get ready to put the gasket on and everything on the stay. 
I know I got my bike to you and I apologize. Anyway, next step, next phase, we'll move on. Y'all come on back next week, you hear? That's good. A lot of manufacturers say not to do this or stamp them or and I don't like the stamp meter. What I do is take a little, uh, the Dicom blue stuff here, and we'll just paint them. And then I got a real nice, I call it a nervous pencil, but it's a air etcher. That way, you know, some people say, well, why do you do that before you put it together if it's all brand new stuff? Well, it just saves the guy next time because you're probably going to be hard on this thing and ramp up the RPMs up there and what's fine. You probably gonna have to dig back into it one of these days. Hope not in the near future, so <laughs> hope you get many, many miles of riding pleasure. So anyway, um, uh, going back to the like and subscribe. Um, also the uh, chili relenos or, or the, the poblano chilies. I like those too, the deep fried ones with the little cheese and breading on it too. And whatever that sauce is, you know, uh, Somebody could probably put in the comments what kind of sauce that would be. Anyway, Pontiac 400. We think it looks kind of good. We got all of those stuff, so we'll take some more pictures of it later on as we as the build continues. Thank you.